Hi, I'm Amy. I was born in Wales and I'm a teacher. This is Alex. He was born in Ukraine and he's a doctor. In 2024, we decided to take our careers on the road. We're spending the year traveling full time and working remotely. Feel free to follow along each week as we move from country to country and give you our travel tips for each place. This week is a little different. We head back to the States so I can attend a bachelorette party in Scottsdale, Arizona. Alex takes this time to do a solo trip exploring San Diego, California. Next week, we continue our goal of visiting all six Disney parks in just six months. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss where we head to next. I'm the first one to the Airbnb, which means I picked my room and now it's time to decorate. I didn't quite realize how many balloons I got. So I am going to spend quite some time blowing these up. I just remembered that I'm pretty sure Nicole's allergic to latex. The bride. Like something in the back of my mind is telling me that Nicole is allergic to latex. And I'm just now remembering this fact, so. Okay, um, she just won't touch the balloons. I've blown up all the balloons. I have little goodie bags for each bridesmaid. This says last swing before the ring, but that W keeps deflating, so looks a little funky. I have a little picture booth station up there, some balloons on the stairs, and then a little walkway for the bride into her room. Okay, I'm gonna go chill before everyone else gets here. Hello. That's the bride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. If you're planning a girl's trip to Scottsdale, you have to go to the spa at this resort. They have a day pass for $40 where you can access all the amenities, including a sauna, steam room, cold plunge, hot tubs, and more. Put your whole body in. All the way. All the way. <laughs> really fast. <laughs> There's a relaxation room upstairs with day beds and snacks. As well as a balcony with a beautiful view overlooking the pool. If you book a service, all day access to these amenities is also included. This was the perfect way to pamper the bride before our big night of watching Bring It On and going to bed by 9 p.m. For my first day in San Diego, I went to Blee's Pizza and then got a drink at Nova Easy Kombucha. I went back to the Airbnb and worked a bit before finishing the night with the ever popular Eris Tour. I still don't understand how someone's body shape can be blue but currently on my way to get some coffee we have nitro cold brew which is sorely missed when we're traveling abroad let's see how the coffee is wakes me up a little bit before work today we started out with yoga at the airbnb we used the balance bachelorette which was a service that sends an instructor to your home for a private session we got carly and her class was the perfect mix of relaxing lighthearted, and fun <laughs> Hi, to low plank, you can take that push up that chaturanga. Remember, you can always say, fuck it, down dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Really good aim. 
Oh, also, so the into a plastic cup. <laughs> Should I make more or no? No. No? I don't know. <laughs> I'm taking my multivitamin with champagne. I love this. <laughs> I got my <laughs> oh my god, I have to record that. Hold on. Now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> we got cores, we got coffee. <laughs> After work, I strolled down to Ocean Beach and walked past the pier before I got to the fun and dangerous looking steps that I walked down which took me to Oriental Point. This got me a great view of the ocean with no crowds and it was beautiful. Beautiful day, it's about, I don't know, 62 degrees and sunny. It was just an amazing day. I had work this morning, got some coffee and uh, now just enjoying the weather and enjoying the beach. If you walk around the length of Oriental Point, there are these stairs you can take that will bring you back up to the streets where you'll get this amazing view. I came back from exploring Ocean Beach, San Diego, grabbed some food, had a nice view of the ocean, and now I get to do this fun thing called taxes. Even though we were in the middle of a desert, this weekend it decided it was going to rain almost the entire time. That didn't stop us from having a pool day. <laughs> Afterwards, we all got ready together. Nicole opened some gifts from the bridesmaids who couldn't make it. I'm sorry, is that coffee? Like hot coffee? Yes. So you're doing coffee and cores again. Coffee and cores. He checks the pictures. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then headed out for an amazing dinner. Yay! Thank you so much. We went bar hopping in Old Town, which has over a dozen nightclubs and open air dive bars within a block of each other. This definitely reminded us all of college. And although those days are very far behind us now, it was nice to relive them for a night. Double stuff Oreos. I don't think they're double stuff. We get the triple stuff, which is a thing now, yeah. This, <laughs> yeah, this looks more singly to me. Mm -hmm. Singles are actually pathetic, but <laughs> this is definitely a 1.5. I've been lied to in my life, but this is not. This is. Hmm. <laughs> we should. Who has a sharpie? Let's cross it out. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> All right, good morning. Um, last night was riveting. Uh, finished my taxes. That was great, good feeling. So today, got some work to do this morning, and then I think I'm gonna venture out to La Jolla, see what's going on over there. I hear it's nice. happening apparently. It's a beautiful setting. I ventured out to La Jolla um, Ocean Beach and it's pretty amazing. This particular neighborhood I'm in has some pretty cool houses. It's beautiful. It's a great day. No clouds in the sky. 
mid 60s, high 60s, something like that, it's sunny. Here's some of the houses that are up here. I and mean, you can see a lot of those there on the, on the cliffs there, which obviously have an amazing view of the ocean. Anyway, fun to look at. If you've never been to La Jolla, or San Diego in general, but La Jolla, I would strongly and highly recommend it. It is gorgeous. There are just like seals hanging out on the beach, like tons of them. They're really cute. Um, the weather, at least today, is phenomenal. And there's just like so much out and about. I had this great meal, this salad and fries at this restaurant where you could overlook and see the beach and the water. Um, now I'm just walking back to the car. I hear that the University of San Diego um, it's a beautiful campus. I might drive out there, see what that looks like. Yeah, this has been pretty crazy. Um, the houses earlier, uh, this whole beach area is just beautiful. So anyway, would highly recommend. I wonder who lives in here. Probably no one. Probably just for decoration, but pretty crazy. Made it to the University of San Diego, University of California, San Diego campus. And it is so big, very beautiful. You can see kind of just the vastness of it. This is the library, which is pretty crazy. Sitting up there and like having like this view back here probably is just like so awesome to like study in. Anyway, lots of nature, lots of cool buildings. And uh, I got to look at the medical school, which looked uh, pretty nice, although shout out UCF. But uh, this campus is, is beautiful, so. Anyway, on to the next adventure. Our final day was spent at a spring training game since Nicole loves baseball. As you can see, I took sun protection very seriously. <laughs> There was a dog adoption at this game and it took everything in me not to take them all. This kid loved us. Well, mostly Monica. <laughs> He's like, watch me. <laughs> And then we headed out for our final dinner of the weekend. My last night in San Diego slash Ocean Beach. Got a nice sunset today and picking up Amy tomorrow in the afternoon. So this whole little area has a bunch of like houses of different countries. Today, the House of Ireland is doing a program on this lawn but they have, and unfortunately it's closed. I guess I got here too early and I have to go pick up Amy from the airport. But they have a house of Ukraine. Right there. I am currently in Balboa Park, uh, which is this beautiful and very big park in the middle of San Diego. There's lots of different parts to it, which is pretty cool. They have different gardens, like a cactus garden and a flowers garden. But then they also have like these performing venues, like what you can kind of see behind me. Um, this is like an outdoor opera house almost, all these like seats and benches and stuff. I just walked through part of the park with like a bunch of international houses. So they have a bunch of different countries that are represented. It's almost like United Nations type area, uh, which is pretty cool. Decided to stop in here on a beautiful day again here in sunny San Diego. I'm gonna head up to go pick up Amy from the airport here in a little bit, but just wanted to uh, enjoy the sunshine for a little bit before I do that. Alex is here to get me, but look at this pilot cleaning his own window. <laughs> What a funny ending to the weekend. Yeah. Because you organized it so beautifully. Yeah, I felt like I was doing an Instagram, like, fridge restock. Yes, you were. <laughs> Everything that Lauren ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Also, there's a dog.
I'm jealous of people who use actual cameras because they can like flip that thing. You know, like an actual camcorder, you can like flip and see yourself. Oh yeah. You can't do that on the phone. And if you use the front camera, it's like way worse quality. Oh, so, I'm kind of tipsy.